Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth Jemskal and welcome to a tour of the Simoleon Architect Homes in Sims Free Play. These are the homes that came out around about the 4th, 5th of July 2016. There are some for Simoleons and there are also some for LP and SP, but we will look at those in a separate video. I will link it down below that video and also on the screen now. Today's video is just about the Simoleon houses. Now, I haven't actually gone into any of these to have a look at them. But just by looking at them, their prices seem absolutely extortionate first off. Like the first one is 27 million. Now I know that I have got a lot of buildings in my town. If you don't know, Sims Free Play adapts the cost of the houses depending on how many buildings you've got. But even so, 27 million for the first house seems absolutely ridiculous to me. Let's go ahead. There's a lot of houses. I think there's 10 Simoleon houses to get through. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. Okay, so this house can be built on a standard lot. I'm showing you all of these on a premium lot. So if you build them on a standard lot, they will be cheaper. 20, are they having a laugh? 27 million. Okay, so I think the theme around these houses was kind of a cottagey kind of feel. Or that was supposed to be the theme, I think. Um, this is a one bedroom. Who is going to build that for 27 million? I'm not knocking the build in any way. But who is going to... Why would you even purchase that? It's a nice build. Let me know actually down below in the comments if you are of a lower level like I am on What level am I on now? 50? I think I'm on level 53 and there's 54 levels in Sims Replay. play If you are early on in the game, let me know what sort of cost these are for you Whether it's just because I am sort of at the end of the game almost Let me know how much they cost for you. It'd just be interesting to see. We have got the mobile. The mobile was a limited prize I think Okay, there's the first house. Second house, again, can be built on a standard size lot. It is one floor. And it's got a little outdoor area here. Nice. Uh, what have we got? So we've just got a lounge. There's nothing that I can see limited particularly. Bathroom. Nice style of bathroom. Never sort of seen that floor used in a bathroom before. One bedroom over here. Nothing limited though and kitchen area nothing worth it particularly sort of any lps or anything or anything that's particularly limited but a, you know quite a nice little house nonetheless our third house this for me is 51 million can be built on a standard size lot it's got a nice little pool area and it's got some romantic lights so here's the front and um, what have we got kids bedroom over this way into a lounge area off into like a main kitchen quite nice and if you can go through a corridor here I think this might be no I was going to say an adaptation of the hallway hallway room but it really just isn't uh, we've got like a kids bedroom over here oh and a baby a baby sleeps in here as well jewelry box is that the fancy jewelry box I can't remember um, we've got a family bathroom and mum and dad's room over here. Again, nothing worth any, uh, one of these may be worth some LP or something, but I'm not sure whether it's worth it. Nice build though. Next house, 62, 63 million this is for me. Can be built on a standard lot cheaper. Again, one story and we've got a kitchen area here through into a, just a massive living area we'll just we'll take a look at that in a second we've got the bathroom coming off the kitchen and then we have a bedroom over here with it's kind of mum and dad's bedroom plus baby's bedroom come sort of toy room so the main living area you get a thanksgiving table in there and you get one of these green chairs which are SP are they or LP one of the two SP thing but I'm not entirely sure but that's all it's got like cheap furniture and ah well yes I'm, yeah okay <laughs> moving on <laughs> right we have got our fifth house here this is 66 million for me but can be built on a standard lot I think we have yeah we have a basement first floor and a second floor looks to me like this might be a bit better in terms of we might get a few little things with it so anyway walk through the front door we have a fish tank there. Let's go down straight into the basement. Ooh, I like this. Is this a toilet? There's a bathroom down here. 
Oh, it's like a little granny flat. Oh, I like this. Look. This is nice. And one of those retro TVs. There are quite a few SP or LP. I didn't know that you could put uh, those support beams inside. I've learned something new today. This is a cute little basement. That is a really nice idea. I like that. Well done whoever did this. Right, and then on the first floor, you go through here. We've got a sort of modern lounge here. I think so. This is a family live here, don't they? And they've sort of added on a little granny basement. <laughs> Shove granny down in the basement. Poor granny. And there's a little toilet there. Into, what is this? A baby's bedroom. I like how they've sort of designed this. Look at this. This is nice. With the baby has got an ensuite. That's a bit posh, isn't it? And you go through into what have we got? Well, we've got like a little little workstation back there. That's where mum goes and makes all the clothes or something. And this huge big kitchen area. Really big kitchen area. This is nice. I love seeing different people's designs. Like I have never built anything sort of like that as a kitchen. It's just good to see them. I like it. And then upstairs. We go, what have we got? We've got a, another kid's bedroom there with a balcony, a huge bathroom with like a little pedicure place as well. Wow, and a double bath. Like a little, oh no, I was going to say studio, but it's not, that's a manicure. Maybe mum works from home or something. She's a beautician, works from home. I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along, as I'm sure you know. Uh, what have we got? I like how the stairs look. Is that something? I don't know, they've just put the wall there. That just looks nice. Um, ooh, sundial? What's that? Is that SPLP or has it just come very late on in the game or something? Or, I don't know. Um, what have we got? Oh, a nice balcony. Oh, actually, this is all outside. Let me just put the roof up. Ah, yeah, so this is outside. Nice balcony area. And then we have, like, a little indoor. Oh, no bedroom sort of a self-contained little like a little bedroom area there that's nice you do get oh outside here you get the fire monkeys thing that I'm pretty sure we can't get anymore there's some nice things in there very expensive but some nice things Okay, here is the sixth house and 75 million for me, but can be built on a standard size again. This looks, yes, it's two floors. There's no basement, no. This looks nice. I think I like the look of this. I like the decoration outside. We have a tent over there. Inside, ooh, this is nice. You get a little cauldron over there, fire. And through this way is the little kitchen. This has got more of like the cottage style that I sort of wanted to see from the builds. Little outdoor area, let's just put it up. Oh look how sort of closed off you are there. That's a cute little area outside. Um what's through here? Little lounge area. And then upstairs here we have a little bedroom over there and Another little bedroom over here, bathroom, and a, what's it called? Balcony. I like this build, actually. I really do like it. Not got anything particularly sort of rare or anything in it, or worth loads of LPs or SPs or anything, but I do like the build. Okay, our seventh house. Again, could be built on a standard size lot, and this is two floors. So we've got Big lounge area here, kitchen area over here, bedroom into a big en suite and then through another bathroom up to an upstairs area. Hmm, I don't know what I feel about this house so far. Music area, oh you do get some musical instruments and everything with this. Um, I mean, it's okay. I don't like to sort of be insulting on these in case the person who has built the house is watching the video or whatever, but, you know, everyone's done a good job on their build, but obviously some, we all have our opinions and some I prefer to others, and this is probably one that 
I prefer less than some of the others, should we say. But okay, this is getting daft now. This cost me 82 million. 82 million is a one story, could be built on a standard size lot cheaper, but I'm, again, I'm not in any way, I don't want to be criticising whoever's built this house. 82 million for this, there is nothing in it. It is cheap furniture. That you know, it's not even like this furniture is expensive. This is a joke. What's out the back? No, nothing expensive out the back. That's a joke, the price for that house. An absolute joke. Right, ninth house. This looks a bit more like it's got a few things in, hopefully. It does cost 97 million for me, but you know, never mind. Never mind. So, what have we got? We've got some lots of nice things outside. Little dog area there. Inside, we have got some spa stuff. We've got a retro TV that is worth quite a bit. Look, oh, actually, we've got all these windows as well. The SP windows. There's something like six SP each or something for those windows. And... Where should we go? We'll go through into the kitchen area. I just, when it, oh, a fondue set. Anyone who wants a fondue set, they are worth an awful lot of SP. Something like 150 or something stupid like that. Uh, I may have completely exaggerated that. It could be like 75 or something, but it is a lot of SP. I like that kitchen. Very nice. And then there's a little bathroom over here. I do love these sinks. I haven't used them in any of my builds yet because I just feel... They're like three along, aren't they? They're just, they're rather large, but they are really nice. Really nice. And a little parrot there. I love it. And some romantic stuff outside. The wedding arbor, that's worth a couple of LPs as well. Let's go ahead and take a look upstairs. Upstairs we have got a kid's bedroom over here. That's nice. I don't think there's anything particularly expensive in there. I could be wrong. They have a little walk-in wardrobe with the unicorn painting, which was a prize from one of the one of the early on quests. I can't remember which. They've got an ensuite as well. We've got an exercise room with a. Oh, is it an exercise room? No, it's kind of like a study come exercise room. Fish tank. The bike was a biker prize from the seniors quest. I feel like that was a limited time prize as well. Huge sort of master bedroom here oh and they've got the hang the thingies what are they called the robe things to hang up that you get you only get these if you built or build the spa house so that might be useful for some people oh and this goes through into like a little nursery well that's cute i like that again it's got the mobile which was a prize a limited time prize and they've got a lovely ensuite. This is a nice house. I really do like this house. Is it a small house? Yes, it's a small house. Can we build it on a standard lot? I really like that. It's like just busy. Do you know like when they've gone to the effort to decorate it more than just plonk down a few little bits of pieces of furniture or whatever? I like it when they've really thought about added extras like the foosball table or whatever or a parrot and little plants around the place and things. I really like that house. Well done. Good job, whoever built that. Moving on. This is our last Simoleon house, and for me to build, it costs a whopping 102 million. Can we build on a standard again, though? I should have... All of these could be built on a standard, couldn't they, really? I think. I should have showed you them on a standard size lot, because the price would probably be like half or something. But never mind. This is... Oh, just a one floor, actually. And so we've got a kitchen. Use the rugs in a nice sort of way here. With the... Um, Thanksgiving table, which goes into a lounge area. What's so expensive about this house? I don't understand. Nice bathroom. Again, like the rugs. I like how they've done the rugs to make like a different floor patterns and things. Okay, I'm not, I mean, please tell me why, am I being stupid? Why is that worth 102 million I'm going to go and try and see what it is like on a standard size lot. Okay, on a standard size lot, it's only 57 million. But still, 57 million for the house. That's extortionate. I'll just show you quickly the cost, because all of those houses, I think, were standard houses. 
So just quickly, you can just see the prices down below. They are obviously much cheaper to build on standard lots, but they're still extortionate though, like 44 million, 45 million. That one that I said was sort of very plain, whatever, that's 45 million. It's crazy, 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 crazy. So there you go guys, there are the 10 Simoleon new architect homes that we have got. I've got to say, the pricing of these things I'm finding absolutely crazy. And some of the builds as well I'm finding a little bit disappointing. And I know that maybe sounds awful and I really don't mean it to be awful, is that I visit a lot of, I say it every time I do an architect's homes video, that I visit a lot of um, neighbours' towns and I am on various Facebook groups and things where people share their builds and I see some amazing, amazing things that people do in the design of their homes and I just think surely there are some better houses that they could give us than these ones and I, like I say I really don't mean that to be insulting because I obviously respect you know everyone is people these are homes that people have built and I don't know I don't know let me know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments please don't take offense by what I'm saying but let me know what you think down in the comments I am gonna go and record the SP and LP one now hopefully we get something better in there although in all honesty who can afford that? I can't afford 473 LPs to build a house. I, I just, I can't afford it. Anyway, guys, right, thanks for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye.